I uh, I started a while ago. Yeah. Oh, really? The podcast? Mm-hmm. Did All we get right. the thing where I called Adam a Jewish? I said, "Yeah, you're a Jap." No, no Jewish one was, American no one was, pussy. No one was holding the microphone, so it was just a little bit of silence. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, anyway, guys. Well, I had that had a really good one. Yeah. I like it. I like it because like uh, I don't know how to remove the noise floor. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like when you start the podcast and there's silence, it's like you get that warmth of a vinyl record. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. It makes people think about, you know. Oh, yeah. You got time. Mm-hmm. You got to listen to us. that are happening. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. The fall's coming up. The fall yeah. is coming. Well, we are. Another year. We are trying year. to get all of our pods on vinyl. And we're all we're almost doing. 30 now. You got to listen know? to us on analog. Think back on all the relationships you've been through, how they got fucked up. They oh, don't yeah. give a shit anymore. Mm-hmm. Yep. They don't care. No, you just want to you just want to take a nice train ride out to the aqueduct, smoke <laughs> a little cigarillo, and <laughs> bet on some ponies. <laughs> yeah, we should go to. We to should bet on go ponies. there. I have to go by myself. Uh, well, me and Adam will go. It's a personal thing. Are you going to get into gambling? I'm like, already your into next gambling. Addiction? Have you ever been no, into gambling? Not. No, I'm not really. I did. I used to gamble as a 13 year old. I used to yeah. gamble on uh, football games and mm-hmm. Texas Hold'em when everyone was in like into Hold'em. I have a friend who's a degenerate gambler, and he lives in Connecticut, and he met his new girlfriend at Mohegan Sun, Wow! and she's also a degenerate gambler, so oh, nice. it sounds like he's gambling on uh, love now. There was a heroin nice. addict yeah. that was my boss yeah. when I was a teenager. At what job? And, at Jerry's Subs and Pizza. Hell yeah. And he was a he was also in the, really in a scratch-off lottery, and he was like, no, dude, there's a fucking way to... You know, <laughs> he had a system. I got for a scratch system. Off. He did the scratch off lottery. <laughs> nah, dog. If you do it with pennies instead of quarters, you win twenty five percent more. Yeah, that's really sad. Oh yeah, gambling is really sad. Yep. Yeah, my. I mean, I've talked about my crazy grandfather who lost all his. What didn't go to birds went to the fucking lotto, and he never won. He won. I'm really everybody, upset that everybody's it took grandfather episodes. was a degenerate gambler. That's just what grandpas do. My other one was an alcoholic. He wasn't a gambler, though. Yeah, my yeah. Gran- my grandpa was he like I remember for my like eighth birthday, I think I can't remember which birthday it was, but he got me uh, like a free desk calculator from the Taj Mahal in Atlantic <laughs> City. <laughs> it's like something they just gave him for coming cool. all the time because he lost four hundred dollars. <laughs> they were like, "Here's yeah. a three dollar calculator." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just said That's hilarious. Yeah. So one was a ga- yeah. I had a gambler, an alcoholic. We know you have one rapist grandfather. What about what else do you have? Who's on the other my, side? My dad. Well, got, that's got that's into a type gambling. of gambling, you know, <laughs> gambling with the law. <laughs> okay, so gambler slash rapist. Who's the other one? Um, what are you talking about? The like, other grandfather? Yeah, give us yeah, give us a little background. I heard he was a very weak man, and he got bullied by his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I never met him. I just heard it, I just heard about his weakness. It's That's legendary. Yeah. So so you so we know what you inherited my, from my, the, both of them. My mom's uh, mom used to do this thing after her husband died when my parents were dating or like a young couple, where she'd like she had a man's watch in the house and she would leave it on the bedside table. Oh my god! Next to uh, just to simulate the other side him? of the table. To, like, make my parents think that she was getting dick. What? Yeah. Why? She was a weird lady. Is that the one who was notoriously divorced a bunch? No, no. This, this is my mom's house. Really? She was also notoriously cheap, and she'd, like, oh, she'd shocker. have us over for dinner. What? Was, she was the most cheap person in the family. Oh, she'd my God. She'd have us over for dinner, <laughs> and she'd buy a piece of meat. And, like, the running joke would be, like, she'd take it out of the oven. As you know, when you cook meat, it shrinks. Yeah. She, sh- she would always say, oh, you should have seen the size of it uh, before I put it in. That's what I say yeah. about my dick. Yeah, exactly. When it gets hard. Well, it's the, it's it's the like a It's like a little <laughs> pot roast. <laughs> it shrinks when it gets hard. But, like, it would be hilarious. I'd have to go over to her house for dinner because she moved to Vegas before she died. And uh, she'd give us, like, you know, three peas, like a carrot. Jesus Christ. Like, it was like... Good God. It was like, yeah. It was, so she really lived up to the old Jewish country, hype. old country Jewish. You oh, know? that's awesome. I mean, even though she was South African, it was like... She was here freaking. It was like that That generation is... Which is country? The bank? Ha uh-huh. ha. Yeah, yeah. No, the, <laughs> is that South where they Africa? lived? At that's the bank? Good. That's good. No, but like that whole generation is almost completely dead now. You know, I Thank love God, in Philly, yeah. there's the U.S. Mint where they make the pennies. And then directly upwind is the Jewish American History Museum. <laughs> <laughs> upwind. <laughs> like, upwind. <yeah. laughs> 
So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we got a so great beige. location right next to the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Juice walking through that neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, I was all drunk at like eleven o'clock in the morning when I made that discovery. That's beautiful yeah. in Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> hey, come here. I gotta tell you something. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm part of the field trip. I'm not part of the field trip, but you, <laughs> I could be. I went to school. Let me relive my childhood via your field trip. <laughs> I promise I won't breathe in any of the kids' mouths. <laughs> You're just alone in the back of the line. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I went in the mint. There was literally no one in there. Mm. I did. I'd walk through it. My that's a that's like a very shitty place to tour. Is the yeah. U.S. Mint in Philadelphia? They Wait, just you make can coins? just take pennies. No, you can't do Relax, any of that. Adam. You'd fucking okay, sorry. I was just asking you for. You go in. <laughs> you go up an escalator. There's a single hallway filled with a couple of plaques and windows into the, like the, you know, where they the stamp machines? out the sheets yeah. of pennies and cut them or whatever. And then, uh, and then you go down another escalator that exits through the gift shop, and that's like that's pretty much it. Nice. You know, can you not, buy like penny T-shirts? They have they have a gift <laughs> shop, and then when I went into the gift shop, <laughs> that'd be a nice gift for me. If when I went into the gift shop, is... shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> shut up, please. I'm sorry, dude. He went into a gift shop. Can we figure out how this ends, please? I know it's not even that good of a story, <laughs> but you have to like keep making this T-shirt joke over and over again. I just made it once. No, you said it two or three times. Two you times. said, is there a penny t-shirt? That would be a good birthday <laughs> present for me. I, I like the range of Adam <laughs> impressions we have on yeah, the show. I appreciate that that was the <laughs> yeah. least gay impression. This is me done. trying to save money. <laughs> this is me thinking I'm funny. <laughs> It's the different modes of Adam. It's yeah. true. I am Dr. Like, Pussy. And I'm like that movie Mr. Inside Out. I got all different types of things inside of me. That's good. Yeah. Mostly man. You like dumb. that movie In and Out where where Kevin Klein He's gay, he's not he gay. Th- he thinks he's gay and then he turns out he's not gay. He just mm. he likes drama. <laughs> <laughs> is that the plot of a movie? The plot of the movie is is like there's some gay guy that becomes famous, mm-hmm. and he's like, I just really want to thank my high school English teacher who was the first gay person I knew, you know, back in my small town in Maine or whatever. And Kevin Klein plays the teacher, and he's like, he thinks I'm gay, and everyone's like, <laughs> really? Yeah, and everyone's like, yeah, we all thought you were gay, and he's That's like, hilarious. maybe I'm gay, and he starts sucking cock yeah, just yeah, to yeah, see. Yeah. yeah, he goes on like a little truck stop tour. Nice. Getting, yeah, getting hogged holes. out by a couple of convoy boys. Yeah, yeah. He goes to a bunch of <laughs> and, uh, bathrooms. You know. <laughs> Hell yeah, And dude. then, you know, he does enough burning the candle on both ends, gets diagnosed with HIV, gets fired from the job at the school. He actually gets AIDS? No. Oh, I'm, making, I'm making a much better movie. <laughs> yeah. So it's just a movie about a guy who sucks cock I'm, in the I'm 40s. imagining a movie called The Teacher. Nice. Directed by me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just um, gay porn. Yeah. But, you know, it's Oscar worthy. Oh, of course, brother. Um <laughs> and in fact the the the, the <laughs> name of the main character is Oscar Winner. Oh that's good. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so when they read it off. It opens the movie opens and it's it's uh it's in sepia tone, right? Of course. But then mm. there's neon highlighting. So it's a, it's a visual style where you say, what is this? Is it the past? Is it the oh, future? Yes. It's a little bit of both, guys. It's mm-hmm. about the dichotomy of, uh, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> yes, yes. Sh- we, we see a bathroom. There's a trans person <laughs> just covered in fucking needles like a porcupine. Okay. You know, okay. She's got uh, hypodermic needles sticking out of them. They're overdosing. Mm. And then... A Republican is having sex with the trans person's mouth, oh. and then they go, "They go, don't tell anybody about this. I'm a Republican senator." That is and they powerful. leave. And then, uh, and then a, a black guy comes in. And he says something racist about Chinese people, oh. and somebody says, "You can't say that. You're black." And he's like, "Yeah, it makes you think, doesn't it?" Whoa, it's a lot of he can be racist. So they're too. not all friends. They're not all friends. Exactly. Yeah. What? Yeah, I thought then, all uh, minorities were friends. Yeah. And then a white girl moves to Bushwick, and a, a Puerto Rican guy teaches her how to have sex. Wait, that's until a movie. Did until, you see that yeah, movie? Yeah, yeah. These are all movies, Adam. <laughs> 
I'm creating the oh, greatest. Oh, you're doing Crash, I guess, the last I'm one. creating the greatest movie of all time. Oh, if yeah, you would yeah. just allow me to direct, please, <laughs> and not fucking interrupt. Your what job is to bring people bagels from wherever your secret little place is. What is, what is the, what That's the, your job on this production. Do you have a secret bagel place? Of course, of course he does. I have a secret bagel Can I know place. where it is? He, yeah. he volunteered there with a little organization known as the IDF. <laughs> His secret bagel yep, place. Para- paratroopers. <laughs> Best, uh, I love this idea for this movie. Yeah. Anyhow. Yeah. And then Oscar winner is the gay guy in the middle of it. Beautiful. Played by, uh, I don't know, let's say that dude from uh, 12 Years a Slave. Ch- Ch- Chichito. Chinewe. Chinchilla. Um, Chipotle. Chinua Achebe. Chinua Chinua Chipotle. Things Fall Apart. Oscar That's the guy who wrote Things Fall Apart. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, what, Maharaja Ali? Is that the guy's name? No, that's Moonlight. Yeah, the Maharaji Yogi, uh, he was the guy that gave the Beatles LSD for the first Really? Time. Was it I an Indian know. guy? No, I, I think that that's after the LSD. They wanted to like learn how to trick what do you call, uh, drugs. What do you call an Indian guy that does acid? What? That's, that might be too... Micro dot head. Is that too bad? <laughs> uh, <laughs> too racist? A little bit of acid. That's good. Yeah. That's no, that right. checks out. Um... Yeah, the Mint does seem like a shitty-ass place to take a field trip, though, dude. I don't know. My favorite that. shit no, was No, this the... wasn't a field trip. This is me by myself drunk. as an adult <laughs> man drunk at 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Why were you in Philly? Uh, I was working Helium. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. That used to be one of my favorite clubs to go to. I've never done it. I can't anymore. Why? I'm banned from Philadelphia. Uh, for for the entire what reason? City? Yeah, they kicked me out. For what? Um... Believe it or not, I was somehow too racist for Philadelphia. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's not possible. Dude, that was fake, dude. That's not possible. It's real. You were too racist? I was. I got too real in old Philadelphia. Damn, bro. You got kicked out of Geno's for being I too racist. I said Ben racist. Franklin's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you never talk about no Franklin like that. Don't you never talk about Benny Franks like that. Ben Spanklin. Ben Spank Banklin. Oh, nice. That's he... It's him beating off. He invented remembering things to jack off to. <laughs> no joke. Franklin probably had a pretty good spank bank. Did for he? like back in the day. You keep trying to sell this Ben. You keep I trying love to ben Franklin. ben Franklin. I love oh, he him. Was, he was a horny man He was a history. horny guy. I'm sure he He's was. He's a fat yeah. horny guy. It, it, you know, with glasses, bald, yeah. which I have now claimed on this episode. Yeah. I'll claim that I'm bald. But next episode, I'm going back to the bit where I say <laughs> I'm never bald. Uh I, I have a lot in common with Ben Franklin, dude. Glasses. Yeah. I'm going to have a bald ponytail ben at Franklin some point. Ben Franklin was a fucking idiot. Dude. Take a, it back. No, he was an inventor. Postmaster Jeez. General. One of the shittiest. Uh, first of all. You like stamps, motherfucker? For, uh, he invented uh, that. Uh, Bifocals. Bifocals. Bisexuals. Come, uh, the idea to not just allow parcel service to be privatized immediately. Set back. No. Uh, postage in the United States. Wow. Absolutely not. Wow. Get get that, that libertarian been, take out of here. Libertarian. The fucking worst baby. service. USPS. You compare it to any one of the other ones. They well, have no that accountability. Is the Republicans. Yep. Thank and now you, USPS Adam. is subsidized. Uh, all the the big carriers get their arms twisted into. Nah, I feel like there's a there's an argument against this, but I don't know it. Yeah, you don't. My know it. college girlfriend loved the postal service, and she had a lot of facts. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to text her, and then next episode. I'm going to come back at you. She's going to be like, oh, that fat faggot is trying to find another excuse to talk to me again. And this time he's using the post office. I got into an argument with a libertarian. Tell me some reasons why the post office is good. She, yes. And then whatever much taller, not bald, not fat guy is no, currently. He is fat. Currently reaching depths that you could only dream of. Absolutely not. Inside of that sweet I fuck wet with, hole. I fuck with beautiful finesse no, and artistry. Don't. Absolutely, I do. No, you don't. That's what I'm looking forward to with my new room. Because mm-hmm. my old room... His dick just, like, smooches the tip of the, the pussy. First that's of all, I, of course my dick like does it, smooch. It, it but does, that's part of the... That's part of it. Of that, technically. Yeah. Adam has seen my dick, and he said it's bigger than he thought it was going to be. Yeah, I, I've said that That doesn't record. mean anything. It means something, buddy. I'll it take it. <laughs> I thought it would be like a car accident down there. But it was nice and smooth, you know? <clears throat> a good skin tone. Yeah, it's dark. It's dark. It's olive skinned, you know. Um, yeah. And I and listen, I I know my angles. I know what I'm doing in there. You know, I'm excited to maybe fuck. You know, really let it because before my old mm-hmm. room, the walls would shake because it was a fake room. Yeah. And you know, I'm getting it in. Mm-hmm. So now I got a full wall. Maybe I'll put my feet on the wall. Maybe I'll fuck like 
one foot up on the wall, dude. Does Acrobatics. Ryan, does style. Ryan have a lot of sex in your house? He, I have not heard him fuck once. Really? I've heard Eldest fuck. Maybe he has quiet sex, Ryan. I wonder how he. I wonder how Shut fucks. I've lived with a couple the last three years, and I haven't had heard them have sex. Once. Really? No. I Damn. don't know about if it's an acoustics thing. Or it's probably an acoustics. They're on the other side of the apartment. Yeah. Yeah, I put a microphone in the room. Yeah. Oh, I have cameras in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Just to make sure they're okay. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah. It's, it's, they're like, Adam, is this a baby monitor in our room? <laughs> and you're like, yeah. And they're like, what the fuck is this doing in there? And you're like, it's for a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, but we don't have a baby. I'm like, yeah, but what if you do? So Charlie, You're going to want it at some point. It's not like I have any ability to monitor it now. There's no baby in there. Mm-hmm. I lived with that guy, John, in D.C., who used to hear... You know, me and my ex-girlfriend have sex. Nice. We had no walls in that place. Yeah. So no he, walls while you're hitting them back walls. Am yeah, I right, that's brother? Right, dude, that's Ow, only, yeah. Um, so, I mean, my rent was, you know, $600 instead of $1,000. That's tight. So, And you fucked loudly. For a guy to beat off every time I have sex with my girlfriend. That's a good trade-off. I'll you think he was beating off to that? I think there was a chance he was. Really? He was the dude that was like, when we were like waiting in line to get into a bar once, he just like turned to me and he goes, I love to wait. <laughs> <laughs> he loves waiting? Yeah, so what weird. the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah. Howard, that's your activity is killing time? He likes, wait, yeah, he's like, I like post offices, oh my supermarkets, God. I love waiting. And That's I was like, bizarre. yeah, it was really strange. And then, like, he he was also the admin of the Seltzer fan page that on guy? Facebook. I remember yeah. that guy. Yeah, that he dude, he definitely yeah. beat off to you fucking for yeah. sure. I mean, if it saved four hundred. The only thing I month. remember about that guy is uh, there was one night we did some show at like uh, there was only like Funny Moms or something, and like. Madi had to wear a costume, yeah. so he put the costume oh, on and I like cha- that. he like Madi like changed shirts to put the costume on in some like hallway next to the stage, and then fucking hours later, like six hours later, we're at your apartment hanging out smoking weed, and I'm sitting there next to John, and then Madi who's across from me, and I'm not sa- I was pretty fucked up so I wasn't saying anything, and John had not said anything, and then he just says to Madi like. Hey, Marty, uh, you got pretty nice abs, dude. <laughs> I saw you changing earlier. <laughs> and it was like the only... And then Marty's like autistic, so he's like... Rah, rah, rah. What, what does that mean? Ah. <laughs> you know? What do you mean I have nice abs? Didn't know how to respond to it. And me and Sarah were the only people that saw it, and we just started like crying. Yeah. It was so funny. One time I saw him in the living room, like just looking at this piece of paper, and I could tell after like a, f- a few minutes he was drawing, and I said, what are you drawing? And he said, um, I'm drawing a mattress, but very zoomed in. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we didn't talk about like, it what? enough, but <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is that? A, just a, a block? Like, like what the fuck? Like, <laughs> but very zoomed in. Um, also, like... He should be on this The podcast, fact dude. that he was the he admin of Seltzer. We got fire. Like, we got fire stop and bring on. He John. just created. John? He just created the, the. He just made a page for Seltzer. Yeah. And then linked all the information from the Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he was just the admin. Yeah, for it's it. like when when Facebook started having like pages. For right, things, right, right. He just said, he just took it. Upon he heard himself. about that. And he said, well, and then I said, John, we don't have Seltzer in the house. Like I've never even seen you drink Seltzer. He's like, no, I think it's okay. <laughs> yeah, was he wasn't like, even a he fan. He wasn't even that big. That was the best part. He wasn't even that much into seltzer water. <laughs> <laughs> but he just felt inclined when he found out you can make a page to make the seltzer. To make the seltzer. Damn, page. what's Johnny up to these days, bro? I don't know. He lives in D.C. I don't know what he's doing. Let's he's, find he's him. He's like some sort of fed or... Oh, know. is he a snitch? No, no. Is he, he a federale? He was, he was pretty woke, dude. He was like... Uh, oh, really? Yeah, he was like kind of Occupy woke. Nice. You know, but uh, I remember I was making fun of Occupy, and he was like, actually, it changed my life. So, oh, And nice. I was like, all right, I'm not sorry, dude. <laughs> that's legalize First of all, it. supporting Occupy isn't woke. It's not like a woke thing. Well, it's that's pretty like, he's woke. like a drum circle. Everyone, like, I, a lot of people fucking supported Occupy. That's not, the, the woke, that's, we're now letting woke mean too many things. Because it's a specific type of shitty behavior. No, woke, can, woke has multiple applications. But, but I will say that was like a precursor. A lot of people that were Occupy Bros became woke bros. Like, SJ does. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. kind of it kind of splintered off. Yeah, I think I wouldn't say so. No, no. You don't think a big faction that were people that were kind of like SJs? No, yeah, no? I don't. Well, a lot of SJ Dubs are like people that just 
take that terminology and language in order to call out people they don't like you know so it's like you know if you don't like hillary you're a racist or a sexist you know it's just people using terminology that came from academics you're right because i guess i guess the occupy people were actually doing something well they didn't know what they were doing but they they were doing yeah they were actually like actually no but they they, they don't know what they're doing that's like fox news bullshit no at the same time no because fox spent a lot of time trying to get the message out and like the mainstream media as a whole that occupy was just a bunch of fucking dirty hippies that don't know what they want they just don't want to work and they have no, a problem with the economy. No, that was the fu- at the it was same exact the time. Yeah, yeah. At the same exact time, they were pretending like the Tea Party was this coherent, right? You know, no, that's large true. movement that was happening. That was in the the Tea Party. I remember when they were passing Obamacare in 2008. I went down to the Capitol when I was living in D.C. And there was literally 23 people yeah. outside. <laughs> Michelle Bachman was talking to them. Damn, remember that like, fucking idiot? There was like 20, <laughs> and her gay-ass husband? There was like 20 <laughs> or 30 old people, like fat old people Ugh. that were protesting. And then there were like, I remember seeing on the news, there was like gorilla cams going through yeah. the crowd to make it look like, like fucking a thousand people were there. Right, right, and that right. same day, there was a march for illegal immigrants on the mall. And there had to have been 20,000 illegal immigrants on the mall. And not a single news network yeah. covered well, it. Well, fuck it. If illegal immigrants want coverage, they can start their own news network. Thank you. I... I no, but actually... It's CNN, but it's SI. Occupy, <laughs> Occ- Occupy, what we found, was that they had a decentralized power structure. Yeah. And they couldn't make any clear demands. So right. it was it was that they they couldn't figure out. They, what wanted, they wanted a lot of shit. They wanted a lot of shit, and I I mean I th- every I was, single you I can make that first of all that's a bullshit criticism. No, 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 no but at, about any kind of like social unrest and say oh we well, don't have clear demands and it's decentralized. No, no, hold that's on. That's the kind of bullshit they lob at like Black Lives Matter or anything. No, else. that's not true. It's absolutely true. People they didn't have great messaging. Criticism. That is true. That was part of the problem. The with most Occupy. productive thing to come out of Occupy was the terminology ninety nine percent. That is something that's still used and that came out of the Occupy movement. Yeah. And that actually like put in context like wealth disparity and it was like a very like positive messaging. Like uh, I think they did release like some kind of twenty three point plan yeah, yeah. at some point. Eventually, did. but it was it was late in the you know it was after months. Dude, of I was protesting. sympathetic. I went up to New York. I was living in DC. I went up to Zuccotti Park and like I checked it out. You know, Zucani. and then it was just like a ton of Chinese tourists, like on the periphery, taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> that was, it was like cops and Chinese tourists. And then, you know, fucking, you know, whatever people, people are there. It, I, I'm not saying that it was a bad thing necessarily. You're saying it's a bad thing. You're saying it was well, bad you're anti occupy, dude. That's fucked I'm not a- anti occupy. Dude, did you know, Adam, that kind of Bane. He's kind of like an occupied guy. Did you ever yeah. have you ever considered? I don't know that? if you've seen the. Have you ever considered Dark to make Knight that? Rises? But um, that analogy, I don't like that movie because Nolan. the implication is that people who are jacked are bad. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. And need to use you. You know those like training. What are those bane masks that people use for training? What oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The they of cut it? off it your reduces oxygen. the amount of oxygen you have available to you. So yeah. it like helps your lungs grow or something. Um, well, no. If you have like a limited amount of oxygen being pumped into your bloodstream, your body will create more red blood cells to adapt. Mm. Whoa! So then, when you take the mask off, it's able to. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like high altitude training, it's, yeah, basically. It's similar, like yeah. thinner air. Yeah. Um, no, but I actually speaking of Chris Nolan, I I don't I haven't I'm like I, I, I what I do is I, I, I saw a, the new put one. a weightlifting belt around my neck. Yes, yes, and then it doesn't David make me Carradine stronger, style. but yeah, I do come. Yeah, <laughs> which is the most important part of going to the gym. I love I I love those fat guys that just wear weight belts everywhere or like the back back the brace the yeah. braces everywhere. What There's are those a, pants called? What do you mean? What you mean? Wear a like a lifting belt everywhere. Yeah, yeah. You mean yeah. laborers that have to wear it, or yes, I love that look. Oh, yeah. All the all the fat contractors might use that work around at Home Depot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All the fat guys. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's a good look. It keeps the fat stomach up, and you know, uh, it's like a bra for your fat shit. Yeah, I saw Dunkirk though, and that was sick. I'm trying to see it. It was really good, and I I I don't like Christopher Nolan movies, but it was like. My always my objection is like when when I saw Interstellar was like he was trying to like sh- like display love but he doesn't understand love because mm. I think he's 
autistic mm-hmm. and like the only love he understands is like i machines. think machines no i think it's like sibling love but like it's it's or is he know, married i think he's i just don't think it's just like at the end of interstellar like when the the, the lady when the daughter is like an old lady and then her dad comes back to visit her and they see each other for like 20 seconds and she's been like waiting her whole life to see fucking matthew mcconaughey again oh, damn and Spoiler. he's been like traveling through time to see her and they're like oh what's up and then she like died you know like it's like not that big a deal it's like he doesn't understand i think being a human yeah, yeah <laughs> but yeah. inner or, but dunkirk was sick because it was minimal it was minimal it was about dialogue war. and it was just really sick like uh, like dog plane fights sh- and dog fights in the air it was like and he's technically a great director and yeah. he works with a g- great director of photography and like he's like it was I thought it was pretty dope dude I really enjoyed it Tom Hardy was sick in ooh it. what does yeah, he play yeah. the like fighter pilot the dope Hell fighter yeah, pilot dude. yeah yeah I fuck with Tom Hardy dude yeah I like Tom Hardy a lot I, I wanna be who played Bane you know he was Bane what yeah <laughs> <laughs> Nick how are you doing man I feel like I'm alright you know, I didn't see Dunkirk oh Oh, sorry, dude. It's all right. I just didn't see it. So, yeah. Yeah, well, you would have liked it. Good report on the. You movie. can't see it's movies good. anymore because uh, you have to see them on your TV to justify That's all the true. money you spent. Yeah, I mean, you can't go to the theater. Yeah, I anymore. want. Remember, I said let's go see Dunkirk, and you're like, wait till it comes out on Blu-ray. Yeah, I mean, I'm, <laughs> seriously, why not? Because it'll be. I don't fun, have dude. to worry about getting bed bugs in some bullshit New York theater where it costs seventeen dollars, and then you know everything's. I did. I went everything's to a Alamo. fucking draft house now, which yeah. like, was cool in Austin when it wasn't super expensive, and now it's fifteen dollars for admission to the draft right. house. Oh, it was twenty dollars to do yeah, Dunkirk. I mean, it was, the yeah, amount of fucking money you have to spend on a movie now is like I'm just not doing it. I mean. Let the theaters die. I don't give a shit. Yeah. It, uh, that's why they have to do that. The, it has to be draft house because like the concession stand is a fucking joke. Yeah. Tw- no uh, one's eight dollar popcorn, which like you think is like, oh, this is just them ripping you off. It's the only way the theater can make any fucking money. Right, right, right. Because the studios it's keep, sh- it's keep all the money from model. the ticket yeah. sales. The studios made it clear. Four years ago, they were like, we need to get it to $20 a person, a ticket. Jesus fucking Christ. When I was 15, it was $8 for an adult ticket. Yep. So not 16. even a ma- it was It was $5 for a matinee. Yeah, six I, Dude, I, when I was 21, yeah. or tw- 21, I went to a theater in Detroit, and it was 75 cents for a fucking matinee. What the ticket. fuck? Yeah. But that's like, those that's are like Detroit, dollar though. theaters, though, right? Yeah, they were dollar It wasn't theaters. for like new I love shit. a nice dollar theater, dude. Dollar theaters are dope. It smells bad in there. Yeah, the I love popcorn's it. popcorn's like There's $4. There's an old guy jacking off in the back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ben um, O'Brien went to see Twilight at Dollar Theater, <laughs> and it was like in fucking in like Beltway Movie Six. Shouts out to Beltway Movie Six, uh-huh. and it's just like all white trash girls in blankets, <laughs> like that they that they're wearing like uh like uh, uh what's that what the what was the guy's name the main character Edward. yeah it was like they were wearing snuggies with his face on yeah, it and yeah, shit. Yeah. That's how you got to go see one of those movies. I remember my mom took me to see Birdcage in a Dollar Movie Theater. That's such a good movie. Uh, just because Nathan Lane. I didn't think. I don't think she knew how gay it was. Really, that movie is so fucking. And gay. Stuart Little in that same in Beltway movie six. Stuart Little. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was named after th- th- his last name is actually because of your penis, dude. I got fucking yelled at at the Alamo though when I was seeing Dunkirk because Ari and I selected seats in the front. We thought they were in the back. Oh, I hate. And that then we shit. moved back to an empty seat. Like w- once the trailer started, not like once the you know. The movie was starting, and then they they made me go down to the front desk and like switch our code what? on our tickets because it's all like reserved seating. That's fucking yeah. Lame. And I like almost missed the beginning of the movie. It's like it's fucking stupid. Whatever. Fuck this is them, boring. <laughs> what are, yeah. do you have any other complaints? Um, have you any other bad? Customer I went service? to I went to see. Uh, I think uh, Captain America two or Iron Man two or something. I, Went with Norman for his birthday a couple mm-hmm. of years ago, and it was in Texas, and it was at some like because the Alamo Draft House didn't have assigned seating at the time. I don't mm-hmm. think mm-hmm. so. This is the first place we went with assigned seating. They had leather recliners. Hell yeah! And then also like they bring food to you, which Hell is just yeah. so fucking excessive. You shouldn't eat while reclined. Ugh. Yeah, you're I, just eating I on your chest. You're eating on your fucking chest. I disagree. It's disgusting. Yeah. It's a dis- like the whole process is That's gross. That's the whole point of life. And we went to uh, yeah, we went to this fucking uh, uh, some other kind of draft house, and it's assigned seating, 
And we get there, and there's a family with an autistic boy next to us. <laughs> this, like, 12-year-old autistic boy that has to quietly explain to himself everything that's happening in the movie. Oh, no. So, you know, he's like, that's the bad guy. Now the bad guy's going to come back. <laughs> now they're going to go over there. Now he's upset. He's upset. Now the girl's upset, too. Now they're doing better. You know, the entire fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And at one point, some guy, like, five rows in front. Oh, yeah. And then hit the mom and the sister he's with, the mom just leans over and goes, David, let us know when you're done. And they just leave him there. Halfway what? through the movie, they fucking walk out. Jesus Christ. And they leave their, you know... I mean, sweet slow boy. You gotta to, get. I mean, it's gotta. You kind of see where they're coming from. They get forty minutes without everything narrated. Yeah, I guess so. They leave. No, mom's leaving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, uh, some guy four rows in front of him, fucking sneezes, and he goes, "Bless you." <laughs> like just f- halfway across the movie theater. God bless you. <laughs> I mean, that movie fucking sucked anyways, but... Which one was it? I don't know. It was like either Iron, Iron Man, Man 2 or Captain... One of those awful fucking Marvel The one where movies. Mickey Rourke is the fucking villain? I guess, dude. Those movies fucking suck. I'm never going to go see another superhero movie. They're all the fucking same. It's all paint by numbers. Although, dude, the one where Thor fights Hulk that's about to come I, out, that looks pretty no, tight. No, that looks... It's going to be stupid. I haven't seen anything about it, but just like the the premise alone. Yeah, two super, super strong pe- people punching them each other across the city over and over again. That sounds well, incredibly fucking It's boring. actually an alien fighting ring, so you sound pretty fucking stupid right now. Yeah, yeah and it's a god versus a guy that... Gamma radiation. Gets, yeah, that has yeah. gamma radiation. And they got a little, they got a little hat on the Hulk. Nobody he gets a hat. He gets a little hat. What kind of hat? It's cute, dude. It's like a, like little a crown. baseball cap like or a, a crown. crown. Oh, that's cute. Uh, these those movies suck. Well, they're the all fucking. <laughs> they're all fucking terrible movies. The Avengers. And it, that's the thing is like Logan came out and everyone was raving about Logan. Logan. Ruled. Logan they were like, cool. oh, Logan's amazing. Logan's just not a piece of shit. And I it kind of falls plan. apart that's halfway fair. through. It's like I, you know, you can watch Hugh Jackman work his way through a fucking Diana Ball hangover and regret his dark past for the first forty-five minutes, and it's like, yeah, okay, the girl's a Wolverine. You know, there's no surprise there. Yeah, you know, it's just going to be a girl Wolverine. So what? They don't really ever have any kind of relationship. Really, sort of do. No, well, they, they don't. Knew each other. That's that's the closest. They don't. The yeah, but there, there's nothing. There's no relationship that really builds between the two of them. It's like, like you gotta help me. I won't do it. Okay, I will. Which is the plot of every fucking movie. Nobody ever, in any movie, nobody ever says sure when somebody asks them something of them. They mm-hmm. say no at first, reluctant. and then they come, they come back around. Yeah, and it's, it's but just, it's, it's know, not like you know what I mean. Because I, I'm nitpicking, but like Logan people. was just fucking okay. Nah, dude, and those are movies good. are so all those fucking movies suck so much now that all it takes is one okay movie, and people are like, this is a fucking masterpiece. Yeah, dude, but yeah. come on. I would rather he just watch Hugh Jackman end. do fucking steroids and lift weights. You know what? Just <laughs> make that movie. Make that fucking movie. Let's find out what Wolverine's real healing power is, is being able to recover in 24 hours from 700-pound deadlifts because he's got so much HGH in his fucking forearm. Dude, yeah. come on. Actually, you know, when we talked about the last time you cried, it might have legitimately been Logan. Logan. You he cried finds love. At yeah. the end, finally. Then he dies. You and know? the kids are such good kids. They're, They're such cute. good boys. That little black kid? They're so who, cute. Who, like, shocks yeah. people, that little fat black guy? Yeah, oh, the fat oh, black kid Oh, my God, is dude. Adorable. He was so fucking oh, cute. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then um, the, little, the little fucking Mexican uh, Wolverine girl, she was great. Oh, she was cute, too. And yeah. he finds family, dude. Why are you mad? Why are you sad? I thought it was why cool you, that why Professor didn't that affect you emotionally? Xavier was having like those yeah, brain, his brain was fucked up, those brain fuck ups, and then the, everything would go like yeah, yeah, and it's slow, and he's fighting, yeah, yeah, it's and cool. they're slicing people up. You know, that's my rebuttal to all your well yeah, thought out. I'm gonna points. Go stop. <laughs> you know, also, I, I saw the um, the uh, Avengers movie. What didn't make sense to me about that was like they had wildly different skill. Like one guy was a god. Yeah. One guy's an Iron Man, like, mech. Yeah, yeah. The other one is bow and arrow? Yeah, that, of course. That's so Like, what the game. fuck? Jeremy Renner's just good He's at bow and arrow? He's arrows. Like, what, that's nowhere near it's as... bullshit. Yeah. Why does he get to be in the crew? Yeah. Scarlett Johansson is, is just, like, a spy, but no superpowers. Yeah, she's like... She's they would both spy. get their shit split immediately. Yeah. Her, the regular guys... 
Captain America's tight. You know, he's a good old American boy. Yeah, he's a puncher and he has he a shield. He punches hard. Dude. He's a puncher. And his shield is mad. He's like hard as shit, dude. Captain America doesn't have any weapons besides a shield, right? Yeah, but he punches Which hard. Is just that's like America. Like we're like we don't we don't you know. Yep. We're We've just never been the aggressor. Ourselves. We've never been the <laughs> aggressor <laughs> anywhere. Yeah, yeah. We never. We just preemptively defend ourselves in like uh, Syria, Afga- Iraq. What I like about Captain America is that's like not the highest rank in the military. <laughs> yeah. It's sort of just in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's not a lieutenant or a general. General lieutenant America. is lower than Cap. Oh, I don't know, fucking idiot. Fuck. Yeah, it goes. so be quiet and let me do the bit rather than trying to take it away from me. <laughs> I was just <laughs> after, hey, here's the premise. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It, it's Adam's turn to do the joke. <laughs> do your joke. No, go for it. Yeah, he's not a lieutenant. You're right. All right. So <laughs> the thing about Captain America is that that's fuck like, you. That was a good bit. That's I was like looking not even forward the to best it, one. As I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the, I'm like the Greek chorus, and I'm gonna take the part of the listener, uh-huh. and I'm mad you ruined that bit. I, I feel excited. bad. I do feel bad. I was Nick excited. Feel bad. With Nick yeah. about to go on a little roll there. Do your bit. Dude. No, it's, it's over. The it's fucking good. momentum's gone. It was gonna be good. I'm sorry, dude. I, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have said lieutenant. I know. I know that you know all the jobs in the army, and I don't know sergeant I don't know the jobs. Uh, c- corporal, cook. There you go. Stav's got it. Um, the, none of those are the officer ranks, though. Okay, sergeant. Co- so private is the lowest. Private is the lowest. Then sergeant. What? Then it depends on whether you're talking about the what about Marines lieutenant or the army. What about lieutenant? That's just how the British say lieutenant. Well, that's they how say, I say it that I way. I say it the British yeah, way. They say of course, you fucking piece of shit. I say it the British way, personally. Yeah. <laughs> Oh damn! Just like you said, lever, you fucking cock. I'm still mad about that. <laughs> yeah. it's lever, you piece of shit. Well, um, you know. Sergeant, grand, grand wizard. Yeah. Dragon. <laughs> um, um. Tenth prestige, grand wizard. <laughs> okay. Uh, grand poobah. Grand poobah. We got to yeah. bring the poobahs back. Who was there ever a poobah? Of course, there was a grand poobah. From where? Where? Where was he from? It was from Palestine. Clinton. He came up really? with the uh, Holocaust. <laughs> Nice. No, that's just real history. Really? Hitler met, and, met with the Grand Poobah of Palestine, and he said, here's how we're, like, we got some ideas. We got to do the Holocaust to trick Jews into coming here so mm. that we can kill all of them. I don't know. I think he was the Grand Mufti. Not no, Grand he was the Grand Poobah. No, he was Grand Mufti. <laughs> he was the Grand Poobah. Dude. The Grand Muffy? Mufti. Uh, Mufti. You think the Mufti yeah. Muff dived? Um, huh? Yeah, he probably ate not. Puss. A no, Mufti probably doesn't not. eat pussy. Yeah. He probably fucks um, young boys. What about What are other jobs in the army, though? Um, it's captain, and then the biggest one is a gen- five star general, right? Yeah, it goes captain, it. major, and then uh, general. Major's good. That's so good captain's name. third from top. Major America. Well, captain, major, colonel. Captain, major, lieutenant, colonel, colonel, general is at the top. Nice. Mm-hmm. Lieutenant. One star general, two star generals. How do you get more stars? Once you're at the general, you just move up, and then they have like if there's subdivisions in that, so it's like. You have Brigadier General. Ooh, I think that's like a one, a that's cool like name. a one star general, I think. Mm-hmm. Damn. And then I'd want to stop at Brigadier, dude. Yeah, Brigadier General, then like Lieutenant General, then General and then general, general, general of the Army. And I think General of the Army is four stars. Mm-hmm. And then there's five star generals. Is that in the Joint Chiefs? There's five star generals, which are only George Washington and Pershing, I think. And that's that their title is General of the Armies of the United States. Hell yeah, dude. I think. Wait, so like Patton was never up there. Patton was a four star general. He was four. Bitch. Yeah. They don't there's not in during World the World War Two era there was a shit ton of four star generals. Yeah. yeah. And so they went back and created I think the five star general rank for Washington and then I think Pershing. Who's Pershing? Pershing was the general around the turn of the century in World War One. Oh. I think he was the the head of the Allied forces, land forces in like mm. World War One in the European. How hard theory. was World War One? You just dig a trench, you shoot fucking krauts yeah. until they're dead. You can get disease though. You get trench foot. Yeah, but you could also get Andre like, the Giant too big to fight in World War One. The British they have marshals, they have field marshals. Mm. That's cool. Yeah, I love their stores. Great deals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm a I'm a four star Ross of the, <laughs> yeah, I'm a, a Ross dress for a yeah. list. I'm a TJ Maxx. General Max. TJ Maxx is like the robot soldier from the future. <laughs> and a fucking laser eye. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck yeah. All right, what about in the, the Navy? Patrols, the bed, the bath, and the beyond. <laughs> yeah. The Navy's got funny ones. It's like, 
This is almost as good as the alphabet episode. <laughs> yeah, no, it's yeah, worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to remember military ranks. Dude, I had fucking like military nerds hit me up with the alphabet one. They're like, pissing me off. You don't remember the fuck, you know. Yeah, dude. It's like, I don't you care. You don't remember from, from secret Green Beret training, dude? Uh no, they in he fact, failed they, alphabet. I didn't fail alphabet. They specifically train you to forget all that shit. So when you're mm, captured, you're plausible. Like Jason Bourne, yeah, smart. You know, first of all, look, I I work for the CIA Special Activities Division, <laughs> so I'm not even technically military anymore. Oh, oh, where are they sending you next, dude? It's you got You got to fucking destabilize a country. This podcast right? to create oh. and inspire the alt right to <laughs> subvert. You know, the black Muslim president that the deep <laughs> yeah. state actually hates. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's true. Trump, who's a distraction. Interesting. From the real president, who's yeah. black and Muslim. Yeah. He's, oh, fuck, there's a secret yeah. president? Of course Obama's still the secret president. I didn't know he that. He expanded all this executive power, and then we let some moron get in that you'll get more mad about than Obama. Whoa. While Obama passed a law last year in plain sight of everyone that says he's president forever. I didn't know, know it that. It was signed with Christian children's blood. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. This is all real. I didn't know that. The you most fucking that? binding ink there is. Christian yeah. children's blood. Yeah, the blood. globalists all like made him. They like sat him down. They were like, we need you to be president for life. Smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Smart. And so, and so he hired you or the CIA hired you to Nobody stop hired. him? I don't work for anybody. Oh, fuck. Just one last job. Mullen, we need one so last if thing. So you, if you're doing one last job, CIA calls you. They say, we need you to do one last job. Right. First thing you got to do, assemble the team, right? So who are your no, boys? You know, we're, we're the all, team. First of all, there's no team. We're no, the team. no, come this on. This is some bullshit you, you learn around. from the movies, dude. No, if I'm no, going to no, talk no. to me about the reality of being a tier one <laughs> operator, you have to understand that like, once you get to an elite enough level... You know, it's not about the guy next to you because you can't trust anybody. Mm. Oh, because they might be double agents. You have to be a superior operator, Mm -hmm. Mm. which means I'm well trained in every type of combat. Mm -hmm. Snitching, which is something (laughs) that a lot of people... You're trained in snitching? Yeah. You have to snitch. A lot of people, you have to understand that being honorable, it's like in ancient Japan, you know, Mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, once the samurai were outlawed, they became Ronin and they had nowhere to go. And Mm -hmm. a couple of them odd jobs here and there, but most of them were murdered by villagers because they had this code. But the ones that decided to become shinobi Mm -hmm. and embrace the dishonorable dark art of Mm -hmm. ninjutsu, Mm -hmm. (laughs) those are the ones who survived. (laughs) That was some of them <laughs> even becoming turtles. Oh, oh shit. shit! And you know, uh, Mike Shinoda, Shinoda uh, from the DJ mm-hmm. from Lincoln, Lincoln Park. Park. Yeah. He's Shinobi. He's actually Shinobi. I didn't know yeah. that. This yeah, is yeah. a lot. We're learning a lot, guys. Yeah. Anyway, so, okay. so wait. So you you're saying that you don't have a team. You never assemble we're the, a team. We're the team. Of course you not. never go to like some guy's workshop and he's welding and you're like stop it right there and then he like lifts up the welding mask and he looks at you and he's like come on. I know how to weld. Why would I go to that guy? Because he's in your team. I don't need a team. I know how to weld. Nick found me. I was getting my dick sucked on a hammock. Drinking a, a a a drink with a little umbrella on it. Yeah, you don't have to go see like no. Stop's only, like, stop's only like, there to weigh down the sub. And he was like, "Vacation's <laughs> over. <laughs> well, we need the submarine to sink. <laughs> Dive. Yeah, no Everyone's water. got their part. I'm a team player. <laughs> yeah. I got nothing. Wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, I mean, I think... 15 degrees down bubble. Stav, <laughs> get that sandwich in your mouth. <laughs> I am. I, I, Lieutenant, <laughs> Lieutenant Stav, get that sandwich in your mouth. Garfo. <laughs> 18 <laughs> degrees down bubble. <laughs> I I will say that I am. A, I just fart. It's like a it's like a hot air balloon in reverse. You know, <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I, I shit a little I'm, bit into the um, ocean every time. What are the the IDF ranks? So f- number one is Tattletale. Yes. Number well, two is yeah. rank two is elite, Liar. Well, it's yep. Elite Tattletale. Yeah. This elite, Tattletale. Yeah, elite tattletale, tattletale, tattletale First Class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Baby Sniper. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yep. Lieutenant Child Killer. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> It just goes by different flavors you don't know of sabra hummus. To, you don't know what there's they Lieutenant have to Pine face. Nut. Uh, there's, yeah, there's a yeah, there's a fucking uh, brigadier 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 deal finder. <laughs> yeah, there's like a penny saver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is lawyer. a lawyer. Lawyer. <laughs> yeah. Orthodontist. <laughs> there are lawyers in the American <laughs> army. <laughs> <laughs> or the, yeah. or the Don, this is the four star general dude. Yeah. <laughs> Producers Guild <laughs> uh rep. <laughs> and then the, the highest after. rank the highest rank in the IDF, somebody's nephew. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the, don't forget Jap, which Adam is a Jewish yeah. American pussy. Call back, Call baby. Call back to the first joke of the Call episode. back. Um, I have a hard dick. I will say that, um, you know, since you work alone, right? Yeah. He does. I'm on the and team. Since we, you're a tier we, one operator. Stav's right. on we the team. We established that. No, he's not. I'm the weight Wait. submarine guy. And also the pussy eater and fucker. There is no team, dude. There's a team. It's Task Force Bravo. By the end of this, question, by though. the end of this movie, you'll learn the. the you're gonna be Logan at the end, dude. Teams are a liability. You're gonna give your life for me and you Adam. You have to assume that no matter what, you're gonna get captured. On That's why mission. you'll never have a kid. I've been captured. Be I've been captured on every mission I've ever been. <laughs> 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 they kind of plan for that. Okay. And then the the have way you, you get out. Have you ever completed one? No. In the 1980s, they realized the best method of like exfiltration or whatever. Is to just make your your super soldiers so incompetent mm. that the, the enemy intelligence eventually has to admit that they're not actually intelligence operatives. Oh. That's starting to change because Otto Warmbier, who we sent over to spy on North Korea, yeah, and, yeah. and steal that, oh, steal that died. that choking hazard poster yeah. from the public bathroom because <laughs> we wanted to know what their version of the Heimlich maneuver was. Oh, they, you know, fuck. they put him in a labor camp and mm-hmm. he went into a coma and eventually died of botulism here. Mm. But we got him back, and mm. that means that they never really picked up on the fact that he well, was actually... Well, we got a corpse one. back. <laughs> Smart. Well, we got back a man in a vegetative state, which yep. is, in the eyes of the U.S. Army, mission mission, mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> he mission, had a lot of mission other mission posters affirmative. rolled up into his asshole. That's what you don't so, know. We, so, so we got exactly, his body back, and there was the choking hazard. There was a poster of Kim Jong-un pl- dunking... On Michael Jordan. There I loved all the fucking dumb you. takes. When that story happened, people were like, you know, mm, that's what happens to a white to a boy. a frat guy. That's yeah. what a, a white boy wants to go over there and mess with another culture. It's yeah. like, yeah. stop appropriating their culture. <laughs> you are a retard. You are a fucking idiot. Well, he was <laughs> from like UVA, right? No, nah, he's from, uh, he lives in Ohio, I think. I think he's from UVA. But yeah, everyone's like, yeah, he's some sort of frat douchebag that got Cracker drunk ass in mayo ass Korea. white boy. Yeah, I yeah. mean, why would Super you steal sad. a fucking thing from? You're First of North all, why Korea. would you go to North? Korea? Exactly, just, just don't go stupid. to North Korea. Yeah. Go to South Korea. It's tight, dude. They got fucking great Korean barbecue. Great internet. They got the fastest internet. Mm-hmm. Very fast internet. Public you can become a the Bitcoin wow. millionaire down there in South Korea. Yeah. And they had they had check bars. out some LG OLED TVs. Yeah. The next purchase for Comtown coming soon. <laughs> OLED TV. <laughs> OLED. You got you got a, a Kia Optimus. They got a ton, oh, of, yeah. shit, ton of those. When hey, I would, Hyundai's. Daewoo's. Baby. When I was over Daewoo, there Lanos. in Soju. Soju tastes good. Soju's dope. You know. And they had something called Juicy Bars. Mm-hmm. I went over there to uh, when I was I was doing like show mil, um, uh, marine base shows, um, and uh, they had Juicy Bars, which is just a bar where they're they, they're were those guys of, asking about me. They're sort of prostitutes. Sure they yeah, they they recognize me from being on the team officially. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, but you work. Nick works alone. Well, he says that, but by the like I said, by the end of this mission, he will. That's a lot of people. A lot of people just listen to the show and they haven't seen me in real life, and they don't realize that one of my eyes is actually a, a sniper scope. Yep, absolutely. It comes oh. out of my head. I have yep. it jammed in my face. So you see like a crosshair every time you look at anything. Yeah, one eye is one eye is just a regular eye that sees everything in matrix code, and the other one is a. <laughs> It's a sniper scope. It's a sniper scope. <laughs> That's tight. And actually, his dick is a sniper. Yeah. And his balls are the, the trigger. Yeah. Uh, he clanks them together. Mm. And I also fires. have like a cool scar that goes down my face. Like mm-hmm. over your eye. And over yeah. my eye. Well, yeah. I look like uh, 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 in Platoon. Mm. The scars on... Uh, Which one? That guy. W- not Willem. Uh, Tom Berenger. Tom Berenger. Mm. Yeah. I don't remember what he looked like. They modeled that guy after me. Tom Berenger? Yeah. What was your first yeah. war that you were like uh, in? Was it Spanish American War? I mean, that's all Vietnam. classified. That's yeah. all classified information. Yeah, I know that as a member of the team, but I'm not going to say it either. And I, when I say it's classified, I don't mean my participation in one of the wars you've listed. I mean, these there are secret wars that are going on that mm-hmm. people don't know about. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We've been... Um, remember the Dutch war we were in? Oh, oops. Yeah. Whoopsie. I, I, I've actually killed more Basque children <laughs> than cuckoo clock accidents, which seems like a arbitrary. That's the number one thing. That kills Absolutely, them. cuckoo clock accident. Well, yeah, most yeah. cuckoo clocks there are just I a those knife. Were from Switzerland, you know how we also think it's a the bird? Basque, the Swiss Basque, the that's Swiss who, Basque. That's who fucking mm-hmm. who loves they separatists. Fucking, I tell you, they love those damn cuckoo clocks. Doot, doot. 
<laughs> doot, doot. Um, That's my impression of a cuckoo clock. Okay, so I'll, mm-hmm. I'll just say I'll say this like if you ever like I'll tell you I'll tell you this. Recruited. So a couple years ago, uh, I had to go to Russia because uh, yeah, I remember when we went uh, there. there was this old you Soviet went too? yeah I was there. there was this old Soviet uh, um, general. Yeah, actually, well, an ex-Soviet general that was in the Russian military, and mm, he stole mm-hmm. this, like, uh, satellite that basically fires, like, a giant electromagnetic laser. Whoa. Whoa. And he was going to fire it at London, so I had to I had to go meet up with one of the women that worked at the satellite mm-hmm. installation. Is and, that, like, an EMP, like, where it, like, shuts of, off, yeah, like, yeah. all the electronics? And, and I had to go, I had to go, muscular pussy. yeah, I had to meet up with this woman that worked at the satellite base station where they controlled it, and then... What she look like? She was hot, she and we, I had to have sex shit. with her. We had sex. Yeah, I had sex yeah, with her. Yeah. She got kidnapped by... It you turns had out, sex with her also? Yeah, later, It turns though. out that that, that, that that general was actually working for um, an ex-British uh, intelligence guy who had Whoa. who had turned... Uh, oh, yeah. This, oh, so he's a bad guy now. He became a bad guy, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But me and him had worked together years earlier when we blew up a, a chemical weapons facility. When he was a good guy. Uh, well, we thought he was a good guy. I guess he was always an, uh, a double agent because Whoa. the... Oh. Uh, that Russian general recruited him at that time, mm-hmm. you know, but he held a grudge against me because I changed the the timers on the bombs at the chemical plant mm-hmm. from six minutes to three minutes. Hilarious, mm-hmm. yeah. Classic Moldog. Well, yeah. I thought he was dead, so yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I was trying to save my ass. So I was having sex with this Russian woman, yep. woman, and then we we drove around in my BMW for a while. <laughs> nice. That was a big part of it. And yeah, then, I remember that. Yeah, and then because uh, I fucked the BMW dealer's wife. To there was get, another get hot woman, even hotter than the first woman, actually. What did the first lady turn out <laughs> to be a bad guy? No, no, no. Nah. I thought it, the, the first lady on a mission Obviously, typically ends up being a bad guy. You haven't seen? Yeah, it. that's all movies, man. Yeah, as oh, real tier movies. one operators. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I can uh, continue, continue. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, then you know there was another hot lady who I had sex with off camera. <laughs> Yeah, what do you yeah. mean off camera? I mean in a different part of my life. What do you life. mean off camera? I mean in a different, a, a, a different part of the story. Yeah, yeah. This story that happened. I had well, I, I was videotaping everything. Right. <laughs> Wait, doing. so you were, we were trying to pitch this. Stav. We were trying to pitch this on to True TV. So you guys have this whole thing. If he was there, I wasn't me. aware of it. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, See, so that's how I was good too I busy am. having sex and putting on my fucking tuxedo. Oh, that is true. Stav is a master of disguise. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you put on like a burka. Dude, you can look like a Muslim roommate, lady. Or... Nick, you know that first lady? Yeah, that panda, first super costume. hot lady? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's just a panda in Russia <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> 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 Remember that panda you kept seeing in Moscow? Wow, with the panda it was holding me the whole time. Well, at this point, we're, we're in Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, we're in Cuba. Yep. And then, uh, and then you know, I have sex with that girl one more time. And Nick, then, by the way, the second girl or the first girl? Well, we uh, we go to the first girl. I didn't have sex with the second girl. Yeah, I actually, I, camera. I kill her in a in a fight where she has a grenade launcher yeah. and a and a machine gun of some sort, mm-hmm. and then she gets. The helicopter she's attached to strangles her in the tree. Yeah, and what's the what? What was the line that you said after she died? Oh, uh, a good. I always enjoyed a good squeeze. A good squeeze. That's what I said. Yeah, Goldeneye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Continue. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's not from the movie Goldeneye. That know. really happened. Yeah, that. that I mean, I, it happened. Yeah. Anyhow, so we go into the base and we <laughs> we turn off the Goldeneye. <laughs> 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 what you the, the computer codes. Wait, Cuba. Turn You're in Cuba. We're in Cuba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you driving an Aston Martin in this one? I keep forgetting what no, the car is. Did you do any gambling? No, that's right. As you already said, BMW. What's that? Did you do any gambling or anything? That was a different. Um, no installment. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Never mind. Yeah, I killed the guy. Oh, yeah. I killed the guy who was, was the traitor. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I threw him you know, his back breaks. Who, the and then, British guy or the Russian guy? And general? I met up with my obese friend from Texas who works for the CIA. Who mm-hmm. Wasn't me. Yeah. Different uh, guy. No. <laughs> in fact, I think that was Stav, actually. No, it was now, a different guy. Is, I was the panda. As How's portrayed that, by fucking, uh, what's that guy? Is Billy Wayne Davis? No, that's a comic. No, Billy. The guy from Varsity Blues. The no, blue, the, the guy. F- guy. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is his name? <laughs> Joe Bob. Like, Joe were- Don Baker. Joe Don Baker is who plays Stop. Joe Bob. No, that wasn't me. Wait, I so, remember I so did how a mission. That was this guy. Let's, he was let's just break it down. I remember I did a mission where um I, I played cards and then they whipped my balls with something at one point. And then I fucked two women. Whipped your balls. 
I don't really remember exactly. Was the eye patch guy? They had, I think, yeah. I think they, they took mm-hmm. like a seat. They cut the seat out. Here he is. Here's and stop. my balls. Oh, no. That yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. me. Joe Don Baker. I know no. that guy. Yeah. No. He's like, he's like, uh. He always calls, he calls James Bond Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy. yeah. Well, I'll tell you, Jimmy, uh, if you want to fuck that girl, what I would do, he's always giving him fucking advice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, that wasn't me. I was someone else. I was also James so Bond. So you killed, you killed the I British guy I was a different James Bond Cuba. with a bigger dick. We're, 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 the movie's over, dude. The movie, what, the That's movie? the end of the movie. What do you mean, movie? I mean, not the That's movie. what we it's call our story. missions. That's what I call the story. That's what we Every call our mission missions. is called and a Part movie. of my training is I sort of live my life vicariously <laughs> through my own life. Mm-hmm. I, have to, oh. I have to delude myself into right. thinking that I'm confusing my own life with movies that I've seen. That way, I, that's the only way I could accept the danger inherent to the missions yes. I've gone and all the murder, oh. all the killing you've done. Uh, you yeah. up at night. It would keep how you up you at sleep? night otherwise. That, right. Really, how could you dream? Because you have so much right. trauma. Mm-hmm. And as it stands, I, I sleep probably seventeen hours a day. So yeah. you do. <laughs> we yeah. woke you. We woke. We woke you up to just do this podcast. You're going right pod. back to sleep. Right. Yeah. I'd be asleep. I just get high and I go back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I'm not on missions, of course. He sleeps in one of those astronaut sleeping bags, like on the wall. I want to sleep in a fucking chamber, like a hyperbaric chamber, yeah, hyperbaric. like Michael. I've Jackson. decided when I die, no cremation, no, no. Uh, I don't want to be buried. I want a fucking a tomb. Mm. I want no, a, like a building. Well, I want we're gonna every, bury Adam alive. I want, I want, <laughs> I want all of them. Yeah, you, you, you put Adam in a cat costume. That's not fair. And he's gonna be sealed in the room with me. You can interrupt his bits for eternity. He's so <laughs> boring. With all of my precious jewels and rubies, I want all of my slaves yeah. sealed in my tomb with me. I want to. We're be, gonna pre-record Nick about to tell a story, and then you saying some dumbass interjection, and him yelling at you. I want to be thrown in the ocean, just like my hero, Osama, Osama bin, bin Laden. Laden. Um, I, well, how do I want to fucking be buried? That's not actually what we did, by the way. Yeah. What happened? We fucked his corpse till it disappeared. What do you mean? What did we do with the corpse of Osama bin Laden? He got away. Yeah. He's he got away? Dead. He got away on the... I was, first of all, I was on that boat. Where he's back at Tora Bora? I was, I was yeah. on the boat. They said, I was about to go kill Osama bin Laden myself, and they were like... Look, this one looks pretty open and shut. Why don't we let the fucking why don't we let the kids handle this one? Mm-hmm. And they mm-hmm. sent in SEAL Team Six, <laughs> who are honestly like the most unprofessional. Pathetic. pathetic. They're they're literally pathetic. pathetic. <laughs> they're a joke. In my experience, <laughs> as a professional mercenary, well, they got the name SEALs yeah, they're because fucking they're pussies. like they're like circus. They're well, because like they listen because all noses. they listen to is Kiss from a Rose. Yeah, uh, oh, Seal, Team Seal Six. was the first member. Yep. Of Seal, Seal Team stands Six. for yep. sucking and eating ass <laughs> lesbian. <laughs> <movie>. <laughs> The way a lesbian would. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, they lesbians probably eat ass good. No, they don't, dude. Mm-hmm. They're too focused on the pussy. Yeah, but I feel like they're eating a lot. They, the the ass has no appeal to them. It's a hole. I don't think they that's can't, true. They don't appreciate penetration, so the ass is literally meaningless they, to them. I mm-hmm. think they appreciate plenty. The of pussy is is something they sort of associate with pleasure, I guess, mm-hmm. but. The asshole is meaningless to them. No, mm-hmm. no, hey, it listen, really all our is, lesbian dude. cum boys, pound off in the in the comments. Is it true that lesbians' bodies turn into ash pillars if their skin touches sunlight? Yeah, yep, absolutely. Okay. All right, I wasn't mm-hmm. sure. That's actually how I defeated one of my enemies. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lesbian enemy. Yeah, yeah. but it was Hillary Clinton. And they can't see their reflections in mirrors. That's right, and garlic and, and garlic they hate them. <laughs> yeah. And then once a month, when their lover is going through menstruation, oh, it's then they f- feast. Snack time. They feast on the pussy. They just put a straw in their pussy and suck. <laughs> <laughs> a big twirly straw. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that? Yep. These are all facts about lesbians that we all know. These I are remember real true facts. Well, yeah, I mean that's that's the nice thing about public school sex ed. You learn stuff about this, and Trump is trying to get that out of the fucking curriculum. He and wants f- to get that out. And frankly, I'm not. St- I will not stand for it. Dude, I want my son. I want my son to know educated about, about sex. Stav's never gonna have kids. Gym teacher. His balls are overheated from his thigh. His <laughs> fat <laughs> thighs. I have beautiful. He's big completely balls. sterile. No. I'm no, so I've got that. I'm very, so I've comes air. I got v- I'm a bit very of stale virile. air, like somebody punctured a tennis ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's what comes out of there. I have a nice juicy load, thank you very much. Yeah, it's I'll healthy, be- you know. I doubt it. 
It's pretty good. That's not What's what I it read with the in your dossier. Taste of pussies? Dude, did you wait? I you broke into my dossier. I didn't break into it. It's a it's a Manila folder. That's fuck. You're right. I pretty just leave not, it out pretty there. not secure. It's got it. Does not only does it have your name, it has your picture on the front. So, <laughs> in case I well, whose dossier is this? Who's classified? Do- fuck, oh, it has his dude. name and his picture. On my it. dossier is sealed because I they thought, don't want. Any I thought of that's respect you would think it would be operators. a computer file. Yeah, some sort of encrypted computer file. No, it's file. just in a file no, cabinet. Yeah, it's just a, in a filing cabinet. It's a like the way you would store an old expense report, and it just it's a it's a piece of paper, and I just it's say, a black and white picture of you that good. wearing a turtleneck, <laughs> as as all dossiers have. <laughs> oh. That's true. The top got secret a black tur- turtleneck. <laughs> top secret turtleneck. And I'm looking Jobs. away. I'm looking slightly yeah, yeah, off yeah, camera. Yeah. It's Steve from Jobs. above. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could be fat Steve Jobs for Halloween this year. That's not bad. Yeah. Um. Ooh, we should do. You a, should be fat should... Trayvon. Uh, oh, what a great, <laughs> what a great Halloween costume. Do you, you know, what'd be so funny is like a fat guy getting in trouble for doing like a blackface Halloween costume, and then all these like woke media outlets are like, "Wow, this guy thought it'd be funny to do fat Trayvon," and then the guy's like, "I was just doing Trayvon." Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then the, the BuzzFeed guy gets fired also for fat shaming. Oh, uh, that's good. That's oh, two birds that's, one stone. Yeah. Yeah, and oh, I think yeah. that fat guy would teach everyone an important lesson, mm-hmm. just like Stav teaches me important lessons yep. all day long. To suck this dick till I come. <clears throat> That's your number one lesson, and right now you're failing. Uh, what's going to be our team Halloween costume, guys? I think let's be TLC. I don't celebrate Halloween. Let's be TLC. I don't, you know I don't I, celebrate. I call Halloween. left eye as a sober person. I don't celebrate holidays anymore, dude. We'll we'll all dress in costumes. The real religion is booze. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, that's you know all these all these people don't care about Cinco de Mayo. They just want to get drunk. Listen, we'll just do a fucking bunch. Nobody of Nobody gives a shit about Hanukkah. No yeah. one cares about Hanukkah. That's just an excuse to you know light a little candle up. No, yeah, fuck that's just Hanukkah. Just, they just, they just love perpetuate candles. anti-Greek. Stereotypes. I can't wait to get back, get revenge on the Jews for what they did to my yeah. people during. Well, Hanukkah. it's been about uh, th- three thousand years, and you guys still haven't had a comeback. We're gonna that. rat that ass. Well, dude. we're still waiting. We're gonna. <laughs> I thought Hanukkah was when the Pharaoh fucking said you're not allowed no, to have candles. You're not allowed to have lamps anymore. And Antioch the- is the Greek governor. Yep, had pillaged the temple in Jerusalem. Nobody and put cares. It, put all his uh, nobody gives a Greek shit. idols of, of yeah. nobody boys, gives a shit the about gods. the answer. Young boys <laughs> peeing in uh, oh, in no, grown I'll men's tell mouths. You what it actually is. No, all the Greek idols that you guys worshipped. Oh, well, My f- name is Joshua Tidbit. <laughs> <laughs> That's another rank in the IDF. Yeah. <laughs> Is tidbit knower? Yeah, that's intelligence. This is just tidbits. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck Jews for Hanukkah, dude. And you just rub it in our face by giving each other socks and other dumbass presents. Yeah, What's the Hanukkah best Hanukkah sucks. present you ever gotten? My parents never did Hanukkah. What? We'd like light candles, and then they'd write me a check. So you did Hanukkah. You yeah. just got money. Just shit no, dude, socks. fucking American kids. <laughs> yeah, you just, just had, had a shitty Hanukkah. We didn't do Hanukkah. Yeah. No. We just lit the candles and then they gave me money. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Hanukkah. true. American <laughs> kids got eight presents Yeah, you know, we didn't have... Days. It was kind of a rub. We didn't really do Christmas growing up. We just sort of had the tree and then I would get $500 yeah. from my we parents. We had a big ham dinner. My and parents just... <laughs> never gave me $500. They gave me like $25. And... American kids, all my friends, would get fucking eight presents over eight days. And I, I would just get a fucking cold check. Oh, this is funny that you say one. American kids. Mm-hmm. Trying to give yourself a different cool ethnic identity. My You're parents, American, bitch. My parents aren't American. You're American, bitch. Yeah, all you have to do to be American is be fucking born here. I'm American, but I'm saying people with American families. That's what families. being an American is. Our family is was, is is a uh, Jewish. So I try to weasel your way out of it. That's the thing you can't do. Basically, if but you have a different, family, you are American. There's no American I'm, aristocracy. So if you hate rich people and you suddenly start making money, guess what? That's you, motherfucker. You can't when, dial it back and say, "Oh, first I of do all, say American." Stop pointing a knife at me. Yeah, <laughs> you do have a knife. While you're right making now. a point, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that was pretty menacing. Stop, stop <laughs> <pointing a> knife. <laughs> I, you know what? I saw a Spanish guy doing it on the bus. Yeah. And it's fucking that was I love scary. it. Yeah. <laughs> well, the way you get away with it is you hold a piece of fruit in the other That's hand. That's true. And then nobody, nobody then. Nobody yeah, and kind of my peel little pieces yeah. of. Yeah, of uh, let me let me tell you something, puppy. <laughs> Just 
plant doing butterfly no, knife tricks. You're a rich American. You're American, but I'm not. I'm not rich. You're rich now, I'm motherfucker. American. We're all rich and we're all pieces of shit. It's true. We're yeah, bad people. True. We are bad people. I never said we're not. Yeah. We're not rich yet, though. Maybe that's the day. attitude. That's the fucking attitude that makes it a problem. What? Well, well I'm not rich. I have money now, but I'm not rich. No, well, we're I mean, by the standards of what wealth, what constitutes wealth, no, we're not rich. There you are. I mean, the ba- Nick, the ba- you're you make- rich this year. You're oh, rich. I'm rich. Yeah, I'm you're, rich. You're as hell. doing great. But you're making you're making uh, like a base salary off the show of like sixty thousand a year. Probably less than that. Yeah. No, it's that much. It's like fifty thousand a year. I mean, it's 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 great. I'm not complaining about it. Skip, boss, man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's, it's that doesn't mouth. put me it's in the one percent. No, for personal incomes, first of all, you have other money coming in. You had another job. Mm-hmm. So for a, a single person yeah. making, more, I mean, the the average, I'm still, I'm the still average, negative. not household income, but personal income yeah. is somewhere around thirty thousand. So you yeah. are you are a rich person. Sorry. I'm still negative uh, sixty thousand dollars. So well, in could, terms of in terms of so wealth, could, in terms of wealth, so I could. Uh, so I could do beer bongs with kids from Long Island uh, <laughs> for three years in college. I uh, took yeah. Out well, I've been making a thousands of debt. I'm rich because I've been making thousands off my personal club appearances. I just show up at the club, you know, yep. like I'm Cardi B. That's a good. That's a good. People have scheme. no idea how much money I've made in cryptocurrency. Oh yeah, you're, you're a made fucking zero. You dude. just follow the numbers on your cell phone. No, I've I've have investments <coughs> in crypto. No, you yeah, don't. dude. Yes, I He's do. He's rich, dude. I've made like. Well, I, I mean, I don't want to say it on the podcast, but something like $40 million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll edit this out later. It's, it's on right. paper, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's in the calculator. But after taxes, that's what, like 38? Who cares, you know? It's actually like 20. No, I know. I know. As, as a takes, rich person. The government takes way more than that, dude. It's a fucked up system. I know, dude. Taxation is theft now that I have money. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm happy to pay taxes to live in a good society. Did you make an est- Have you been making estimated quarterly yeah. payments? Okay. All right. But it's, it's, yeah. Actually, fuck. Did I this You quarter? didn't. The 16th of July was your last fuck. deadline. Fuck. You fucking piece of shit. I, I did. I planned to. I did. Fuck. My, ugh. I got to. I got I'm to fucking on my shit. I pay my taxes. I got to I don't pay. try to cheat anybody out of them either. You sort of, <laughs> you write off pencils. Yeah, those are fucking office supplies. I, I need to get you to help me write my write shit off this year, dude. You probably should. And I'm gonna get fucking audited. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, you're you right. write off crazy <laughs> shit. I write off everything, but I mean, the the thing is, is writing stuff off is different than like that's the kind of cheating on your taxes. That I don't think is a fucking problem. Yeah, I agree. the shit that rich people do is they'll like buy a piece of art for like two hundred bucks and then donate it to they'll get it appraised by some asshole for like twenty thousand dollars mm. donate it to a place and then write off the twenty thousand dollar appraisal price so you you make an invisible profit and then right. you write that there's all these shitty ways yeah they know you so turn much yourself shit. into a corporation invest all your personal income in it and then when the corporation grows you take your money out as capital gains which is taxed at like ten really? percent damn yeah there's all these ways you can just be a fucking piece of shit one percent and, and and keep money from the government it, it's really the people that are are the fucking worst are, are people that have personal incomes of like six figures and up and somewhere in like if you're making like a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand a year uh like people that are would be qualified as like mass affluent or whatever mm-hmm. they're the showiest they're the most bitter because most of the time they like you know did work their way right, up to that right, point right, so they're right. like fuck poor people i fucking worked and got to where Escalade. i am and they're yeah. like not capable of seeing like a lot of that is just luck and circumstance right, of course it doesn't i mean fucking privilege doesn't mean that your dad was rich privilege means you you, you fucking knew a guy at the place you right, worked at right place the right you're time the one stuff. person that got that you know promotion yeah. it's fucking you really don't do as much as you think you fucking oh absolutely do. But those people get fucking slammed on, like, the marginal tax rate. Meanwhile, the people that make, like, a million a year have, like, wealth advisors that are like, oh, yeah, we'll figure it out. So right. you only pay 10%, you know, Damn, in taxes. Mm-hmm. That's fucked, dude. Yeah, that's, I say yeah, I, I think simplify the, the motherfucking riche, tax code. I think the nouveau riches are, are disgusting with their studded, diamond-studded watches. I think the, the way to be a classy <laughs> rich person is to make it from your grandfather's dad. Um, you know, for him to pass it down and for you to be a professional philanthropist. Well, uh, which look, means... I mean, I make excluding my crypto 
uh, profits, I make about eight hundred and fifty million dollars a year. <laughs> Yeah. And 90 percent of that is comes from the federal government. It's yep. contract killing that I do for the federal <laughs> government. So, I mean, of course, I'm going to pay my fair share of taxes because that money just comes back to me when I That's go true. murder some Chinese guy that threatened a railroad company, mm. you know, for reparations. <laughs> <laughs> you killed a Chinese guy just <laughs> obstructing Amtrak. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's the kind of shit, dude. Well, you killed him with the train. Look, who do you think the government's going to try and kill? Some high-profile political figure? No, it's the little guys that are just sort of annoying. Mm. Because nobody's mm. going to suspect that it was a highly trained mercenary. Interesting. You know, that pushed that homeless man on the tracks. How do you get, like, uh, like, how do you correspond with a the government? homeless guy. <laughs> Yeah, dude. The government hates homeless people. Oh, I didn't know. You don't think that's fucking obvious? Yeah, they smell. Oh. They got me around to clean up the streets, take over, you know, get up the scraps that Father Winter uh -huh. couldn't take care that, of. You know what I mean? Do you know that a, <laughs> Is that a what homeless, Giuliani was up to? Yeah. yeah. Is that why New York is A homeless safe vagrant here? at Union Square mm -hmm. begging for change yes. makes on average five thousand dollars an hour those are my favorite local yeah. news stories yeah, yeah, yeah. this man pretending to be disabled when he's only kind of disabled <laughs> right, right. he's still living in the streets after <laughs> pretending to be homeless he leaves in his brand new toyota camry <laughs> and drives all the way to his home 45 minutes away in a lower middle class suburb <laughs> where he lives off food stamps and thinks about killing himself <laughs> <laughs> it's bad enough that this man tugs at your heartstrings for pocket change in 95 degree heat, but we can't let him get away with it, so we're going to bully him into killing himself tonight at 5 o'clock on Eyewitness News. Yeah, and then a commercial for fucking Monsanto comes on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need more subsidies to create a new type of bumblebee that already has the cancer in the honey. It's you don't have to wait until it gives you cancer. You can just eat the cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! USA. 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 Suck my dick. Yeah, yeah I am the best. gay. Yeah, I was reading about, there was, so in 2012 when the Chick-fil-A thing happened. Yeah, the gay thing. The gay yeah. thing, yeah. Chick-fil-A said, uh, if, if he's a faggot, you ain't getting sandwiches. <laughs> that was a direct the southern yeah, company. It not, was uh, from Atlanta. Well, it was a cow on a billboard that wrote, I hate faggots, but the G's were backwards. Yeah, well, faggots is what cows call chickens. <laughs> yeah. These faggot chickens are... <laughs> These fucking queer chickens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, yeah, so, a beautiful metaphor. <laughs> well, the CEO, yeah. the CEO, fucking, you know, did the whole, I, you know, same set. I mm -hmm. support the institution of marriage. All these people were boycotting Chick Fil A. Of course, it backfired. You know, yeah. whatever. That's neither here nor there. There was this guy, uh, ironically named Adam Smith, that made a video oh, of him is. going through a drive-through. And he's the CFO of some fucking biotech firm, mm -hmm. and he goes, uh, he goes through this drive-through, and he's like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to him. I'm about to do it." And then he's going there. There's this stupid, dickless protest where people going to Chick Fil A and asking for free water, and then they lose money on the cup. Ugh. So people would go to Chick Fil A, and uh, oh my god, the lady so at the drive-through, nice lady, you know. She goes, he's like, is this my free water? She goes, yes, it is. And he goes, okay, you know, I'm getting this for free today. She's like, no, you know, and he's <laughs> like, uh, because Chick-fil-A is an awful, evil company. And she's like, well, you know, I, I disagree. I, I think it's an okay place to work, you know. And he's like, how do you live with yourself? You know, to the like, woman who fucking works the a fast wage woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's uh, obvious. Obviously, this guy's in the fucking wrong and he's a retard and yeah. she handles it pretty well. He drives off. Posts a video on Facebook. Within 24 hours, he's fired. <laughs> he's lost his job. It, like completely backfires. Good fuck him. Um. Well, good fuck him to a certain extent. This I was mean, in 2005. His job. Yeah, Conservatives yeah. hopped on it, and then people like you, like vindictive liberals, you know, who just want an opportunity to shame somebody. I mean, I don't also fucking... jumped on it. This man's life is ruined now. No, he got he moved up. to par Portland, got another job, immediately was fired. I mean, why go to Portland he's, though? You know, you're he's gonna still. Get you. What do you mean? Why go to Portland? He's like a guy that's like a, he he's protesting the homophobic statements. He's not. He's no, I'm, I'm he's joking. just some I'm fucking pro same sex places. marriage liberal. It has it, the Portland's not the fucking problem. 
You know, it's not. It's this is this is a guy Probably, that's being hounded no, by conservatives, and then also just this online fucking mob that likes you know any opportunity they have to. Oh, I can hurt someone and well, feel just, like a good yeah, person. He, he, oh wow, it's he, a way to it's a way to fuck up somebody's life. But also feel like I'm doing the right thing, right, yeah. right, right. which is all that's happening in the case. Nobody gives a shit about that fucking woman. I mean, if they yeah. did, they wouldn't be continuing to fuck up this guy's life. Mm -hmm. And so they did. And then eventually he had to write a book because he's like living in a fucking RV. Jesus about shame, shame culture. About being shamed. And, you know, the, the guy's a moron, so he doesn't really take any personal responsibility right. in that situation. And so I, I don't know if the book's bad or not, but all the reviews for it are on Amazon are like, one star. I don't even read this shit. I'm not right. giving this guy any money. And it's like, what... What is, is the good, what is the fucking point anymore? No, I don't know if the book is good or bad, Adam. But the it the, might be good. They're leaving <laughs> negative reviews because they want to continue to fucking like yeah, yeah, shame yeah. Right, and harass right, right. this man for a two minute video he made yeah. where he's kind of an asshole. He's kind of an asshole, and he's also just trying to be. You. I don't get what he, he those was, people are the same as him. Don't fucking unplug the wires from my speaker. Anything. Stop fucking touching those. <laughs> get your fucking hands off those speaker terminals. Are you for real? I'm serious, dude. Don't fucking touch those. Don't don't do that. Keep I your fucking hand off. I didn't touch of anything. Them. I wasn't even touching it. You couldn't even. I see. can see it moving. How? Your hands behind it. I, it, it was. Don't behind. touch you were, it. You were touching it. Just don't fucking touch I it. Did, I didn't touch it. I'm sorry. I'll point that fucking knife right at your goddamn <laughs> eye. God, I hope I hope you fucking slit his throat. Wait, but on, what grounds was he fired from his job? Like, what grounds did they give him to fire him? Uh, uh, first of all, a couple years ago, if you publicly shame someone online, they would fire you for any reason. That it's just we don't want this negative publicity. It does not matter. Right. I feel like maybe returning a corner with his, that. His but employment was like at will or something. They could just l let go of him for most no reason. Places are like yeah, that. dude. If you're if you're at the executive level of a company, yeah. you're a representative of that company, no matter fucking what. I mean, right. imagine the CEO. Any, yeah, anybody that's that high up. The shit that you do outside of work reflects on the company, it no matter no matter like... fucking what. So if for him <laughs> to go be an asshole, regardless of how he's being an asshole or sure. w uh, whatever nuance look you want to take at that situation, if it makes the company look bad because people are having a negative reaction to it, you're going to get fucking fired. Yeah. It seems like he should have maybe explored a wrongful termination lawsuit. <laughs> as, a, as an attorney myself, I... <laughs> I think that that was probably <laughs> kind of flimsy grounds for dismissal. No, it isn't. It's not. I mean, that he made a video on Facebook. Like, what does that have to do with his no, job? No, wh what did Nick just say? I that's, heard what he just said. Yeah, if you're an executive, you don't fucking have that kind of it's shit. It's a biotech company. Yeah, they can fucking they sexually harass people and stuff. You can do whatever you they want. They make pills to make people not be gay anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm trying to actually find a solution. Yeah. What are you doing, Chick Fil A? Well, my favorite part of the video at the drive-through is he's about to pull away, but you know he's taping it, so you see the while car he's stop. driving, you see the car stop. He's like, I'm not even gay, by the way. I'm completely heterosexual. <laughs> Hilarious. He's like, there's nothing homosexual about me, but I just think it's wrong what your company's doing. Ugh. Dude, that's so stupid. That well, guy does suck so. He's hard. also like, you don't really like gay people. <laughs> <laughs> you're like yeah, yeah, yeah. you're clarifying FYI, that. FYI, I'm not shitty. one of them. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, it's like a lot of people are fucking shitty. Yeah. People shouldn't be homeless and unable to feed no, their family course, because they're shitty. Yeah. Every no, I agree. every CEO of every company is probably. I mean, they don't probably make public statements yeah. about being homophobic, but they're probably shitty people. You know. Yeah, most CEOs. Oh, sure, but that's the thing dick. is most. Actual rich, like super fucking rich people, they shut the are fuck ghosts. up. Nobody yeah. knows who the fuck they yeah, are. Right, it's true. They drive a Prius. They live in like a, you know, a bigger, you know, whatever house. But yeah. then they have tens of millions of dollars in the bank, and you have no idea. Who well, the that's fuck they are. that's not true. They don't live in normal houses. They live in fucking just separated from the rest of society. Yeah, but completely. I mean, in not, New York, not, in New not, York they do. Yeah, in New yeah. York they live in normal, maybe in New know, York apartments and shit. But it's not like you know, it's not like the houses that fucking you know. Uh, Mark Wahlberg lives in. Right, right, right. Know? Yeah, yeah. That's They're not true. doing They're that just shit. like nice big houses. There are a lot of very wealthy people that are not like flashy money people. That's, yeah. You're, you're right. I mean, like, it's kind of that's a sign of someone that's not yet wealthy. Oh, yeah, baby. That's why like I'm going to get a gold tooth like and some Like us chains. with our Vitamixers. mixers. You don't have you a don't, Vitamix. First of all, stop I'm losing. To steal. Well, I'm about, I have to buy one for my new apartment. Oh, there you go. It's my roommate. Welcome. I'm I'm getting into knives now. That's my new thing. <laughs> <laughs> Someone was saying you can't order butterfly knives in New York City. Dude, you can't have any knife in New York City. Every fucking knife. Not even knife. a Swiss Army knife. 
Here's how it works. If you get caught with a knife, any kind of fucking knife, a cop's going to take it and they're going to they're going to do this thing where they open it a little bit with their fucking hand and then they're going to keep doing this with their wrist over and over and over again until the blade He's comes flicking. Out. He's flicking his and wrist. And then they're going to say, oh, this is a gravity knife, so you're going to go to jail. Mm. Gravity knife is a thing that hasn't existed since, like, the 1950s. It's a giant, like, fucking eight, eight-inch eight knife. Hell yeah. That you swing and it oh, comes those, out. Oh, those? Those are the... the, the it's, like, huge movies? fucking... Th- yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. I want one so of those. Oh, with the button? The, the police have been able to, like... Just loosely redefine gravity knives, which are like uh, uh, outlined in the law as being illegal, mm. as anything that they can fucking flick their wrist and open. So you're really not safe carrying any kind of knife whatsoever in New York. Don't worry about like you know people say, oh, if it's less than three and a half inches, you're fine. It's not. If they it's wanna, the Adam's dick rule. If they want to find a way to fucking That's true. yeah, it's three inches. If they want to find a way to arrest you for it, they will. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I should put away this machete. That's what I love about that fucking piece of shit. First of all, every Instagram ad is fucking the most obnoxious shit in the entire world. Yeah, it's always like a subscription services for like fucking bow ties. Yeah, it's all like, it's all like, the, you know, it's the bespoke post one. Somebody had a comment on one of those. It was like the funniest shit. Somebody was like, uh, yeah, this is great if you've never had a friend with bad taste who got married and you had to be part of the wedding party. Because <laughs> it's all that. It's like fucking, you know, premium leather suspenders and right, like right, right, a fucking right. straight razor kit, you know, like just all this bullshit yeah, you, you don't unicycle, fucking need. Unicycle uh, maintenance tools. Yeah, yeah, that kind of shit. Uh, I hate that bespoke Bespoke post What's company. What's bespoke? Somewhere. I don't. It's that kind of shit, dude. It's just like it's uh, like a little. You get a cigarette holder and a punk, fucking yeah, steampunk shit. That yeah, exactly. Yeah. But like bro, steampunk. Yeah, really, yeah, I know yeah, the vibe. Dude. You Hell know, yeah, very like 2010 hipster. Yeah, I guess, which has yeah. now been like dispersed un- to the culture at large. Yeah, and now people are like, yeah, I really like you know, like red wing boots and fucking yeah, yeah. That kind of dumb shit. So, like uh, Those are good boots, M- Mumford and Sons. They're not good boots. I want to get boots. No, nah, man. It's Sambas. You wear only Sambas. <laughs> it's the only <laughs> shoe anyone Samba. should wear. I want wear. boots for the winter. Uh, Where do I get a nice boot? The boots I have that I schemed out of the garbage. Yes. I think the only you boots you should be allowed to wear are like whale skin covered in fur and then a string wrapped around the entire thing like, a, like an Inuit. Those seem warm. You should have like a very igloo-y look. I wouldn't be opposed. I just do they, you know, what do they, what's so the traction like? Is your surprise No, not yet. Really? I think it arrives today. God damn it. Yours, yours arrived and I'm jealous. I'm so happy. I want boots, man. Both Adam and Stav got pocket pussies. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to tape them that, together and fuck. We problem is, is they, the don't make, they don't make child dick-sized pocket hey, pussies in America because they're it's Why illegal. Why would that be a problem for what so, you? What do you mean? You could, a child could have sex with a woman. No, they can't. It just wouldn't... <laughs> Feel that hit the back wall. No, they needed to buy child vagina pocket pussies, so they've been waiting for them to clear customs. Because you got to <laughs> get them. Thailand. You got to get them from Japan. That's a good oh. idea to address pedophilia. Where they pedophilia. invented pedophilia. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 whoa! That's not true. Right dude. in front of me, dude. Thailand. You're gonna claim a different culture invented pedophilia? Yeah, that's fucked up, dude. Yeah, that's give that's us democracy and pedophilia. That's our. Two, those yeah. are our two big. How ones. are you gonna do that? You know, why isn't pedophilia a Greek word? It, it is. Case it is. closed, motherfucker. <laughs> Case closed. No, it's Japanese. Pedophilia. <laughs> pedophilia. <laughs> you ever look up the names of like Japan, uh, like video games? Like American video games in Japan, but like games that are made by Japanese people. No, they like d- just fuck up their own language to make like uh, like Super Mario Brothers is like a Super Mario Bros. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. A fun, like Sonic Jehejahagu is like <laughs> one of them. Like that's the Japanese Hell name of it. It's yes. not whatever the Japanese word for hedgehog Hell is. Yes. Yeah. I love that dude. They just talk like a racist version of themselves. That's tight. Yeah. I wish more countries did that. Dude, they they submit, dude. That's right. Japan is has bent to the knee. Ever the, since you know, that's yeah. not true, dude. They ever got since their that fucking plans. ever they since got that plans. ever since that. Yeah. We can't take credit they for know that. What the Our fuck's families up. weren't Americans. I know. I didn't do anything. Yeah. yeah. It was Nick's family. Nick's Irish family. Mm-hmm. They're all responsible for Did that. Did you have relatives that fought in World War II? No, of course not. What? Your grand your grandpa wasn't in World War II? Nope. No. 
What was he, a deserter? No, one of my grandfathers was born in like 1931, mm. and the, the other one was so just... So he didn't go to Korea? The other one just like f- sort of fucked around. I don't... <laughs> really? Yeah, actually, you know what? He was born in like 1920, so he would have been f- like 15 when the war ended. No, uh. 25. So, so that's prime yeah, no, yeah, fighting he did, age. He just didn't do He anything. deserted. What? He didn't desert. Did he not get wow. No, he was in the Navy. He just, uh, I don't think uh, he, he did anything. He didn't do anything. Yellow oh, belly. so he, yeah, he fought, but ba- he didn't. Nick's such a yellow, a yellow bellied. Yeah, you got coward in your blood. Coward. No, yeah. both of my grandfathers were in the military. Oh. They just didn't do anything? Yeah, well, one of them is like a weird guy. He was like kind of a con man, so I don't nice. know anything about him. Hell yeah. Never drank in his entire life. He had a secret family in Louisiana. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had a He's a flim flam yeah. man. That's my other awesome. my other grandfather was like a navy pilot. Oh, so, so he pilot. but he didn't fight? Not in World War II. No, he like What about a Korea? Uh no, he was deployed in like the Baltic tracking submarines. Uh yeah, that's tight. yeah my so, grandfather was in Italy doing uh cartography, like maps. Yeah, so drawing pictures. Like no, no, but he like doodling, 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 yeah. Doodling and raping. But he didn't rape. You yeah, said you he did rapist. on an earlier episode. You try and call me yellow. I'll fucking cut your ass up, dude. Come over here. Uh-oh. Don't. T- put the knife down. My grandmother. It's not funny. I'm no going to turn your socks red. <laughs> Come here. That's my Achilles tendon. That's my Achilles tendon. It's from Greek mythology, stop. I'm going to your ass up with my, my Swiss Army knife. My grandfather got caught in the What's the know, deal? In a war with Bulgaria. Don't after do it. World Don't say it. Don't say some stupid bit about no, the Swiss ahead. Army, Adam. I know that's where you're going to go. What's up with the Swiss Army? They just have, like, gadgets? Is that what you're going to say? Something along those lines? Well, no. The Pope's guards are called the, the, the Swiss And they just guard. look like clowns? <laughs> <laughs> they're just... They're like clowns? <laughs> that's that's an interesting question, and yeah. one that, that we need to look into but further. But there's no, there's no Swiss Army, but the, the Pope's guards are mm-hmm. called the Swiss I bet Swiss there's guard. a very... S- there's a barely interesting reason that's not a good joke for that. So you should look that up and then tell us. We'll get back to you on the next one. Thanks, episode. man. Thanks for doing that. <sighs> Can you put the knife away? I just No, dude. It's I've been a weird it. episode. With you know, this a lot knife. of people love <laughs> The James Bond a, stuff was good. The thing <laughs> about a knife that's good is that, you know, it gives you not the same amount of power that a gun has. Right. But enough power that you can wave it around the room. Sure, sure. And people aren't allowed to say anything about it. <laughs> I think, like, when I was studying abroad, there were, like, British kids. And I think that their street violence is, is better than American street violence. They have a lot more stabbings and, like, I'm going to take your loaves off, bruv. Yeah, yeah, because, because they don't <laughs> have guns. Because in America, we have guns. And they don't I'm going to death there. this boy up. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to get in here and pop his drums. I'm Come here, boy. I'm off your bell end. Give Pop him, it. Give him a che- <laughs> Chelsea smile. We're going to make him Jewish. Come here. <laughs> Get your willy on the table. <laughs> We're going to give him a Manchester haircut. <laughs> We're give him a Manx bowl cut, mate. <laughs> it's a new type of haircut. <laughs> We're talking about your willy. <laughs> cut it off. We're going to slice up your bullocks, mate. What do you think of that, Adam? Yeah, what do you think of that? We're going to slice off your balls. Cut your fucking dick off. And, and then your balls. Your balls. <laughs> We're going to slice off your balls so they look like yeah. a tiger got <laughs> to them. I would love the idea of just doing this to like a stranger waiting in line. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had that power. I don't know. I just think that if you Yeah, guys... you motherfucker. I'm going to cut your dick off. I'm going to cut your balls off. <laughs> and the police show up and they're just there every week. I'm always at that Chick-fil-A doing the same thing. You're like, doing right, it for gay knife, rights, though. Put the knife down, Nick. Come on. <laughs> we got a, what is it called? 50, 51, 150? 50, 5150? Yeah, 5150. Is it's in California. Gay they, man on the loose. When the, the, in California, the cops are allowed to just take you directly to the mental hospital. Whoa. Just for allowed being to, loco? For being crazy, yeah. You can just go to the... You get, instead of jailing people, you can get fucking... And then are you there indefinitely? Um, I don't know, but the cops can commit people. Damn. That's what a fifty-one fifty. That's is. too much. That's well, too much power. To I answer think. your question, if, if you guys cut off my dick and balls, <laughs> well, I think cut off would... your dick, slice up your balls, <laughs> slice up my balls. I think that it would just, I would be pretty pissed and maybe need to take a week or two off the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I would be ticked. We'd finally I have a trans ticked. member on the show, and nobody would be, be nobody soft. be allowed to say that we're fucking racist anymore. That's true. It was supposed to be soft. 
Sav's trans in a way that his body produces a bunch of estrogen. <laughs> yeah, because cause you are what you eat. You eat estrogen you eat pills? Estrogen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pussy, fuck. <laughs> you eat a bunch of estrogen? Yeah, right, estrogen. Okay. Dude, I, I, did, I didn't know you even needed to take it that far. I, I figured did, it was just your, you your weight did. pressing on your small testes. Your small testes. I got big balls. fat balls. But I did use to eat my mom's my mom's chocolate women's <laughs> vitamins. Did you eat your mom's pussy? No. Mom's Ew! Pussy. What the fuck, you guys? No. I did ate her vitamins. When Sav was born, he ate his mom's pussy. I no, ate her chocolate. That's why he got so fat. Yeah. What? Well, how would that make me fat? That's, yeah, they're like, oh, I think this is the umbilical cord, but it might just be a Twizzler. <laughs> I don't. I've never seen this before. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but your son is. Uh, is pre he's premature? No, he's he's pre diabetic. <laughs> he's not premature. He's actually he was in there a little too long. I was just eating candies. Dude. Uh, ma'am, I'm sorry. You have a rare disease that's known commonly as Entman's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Me, no, I'm not a doctor. I just. <laughs> I know the door code. My wife gave birth two weeks ago, so I come in here. I'm trying to get on SNL, so I'm doing more of like a man on the street sort of thing. I like um, the idea of a baby. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'll leave. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no, You actually can't call the cops because it's not illegal to say things to people. So, it's the First Amendment. Yeah, enjoy your fat baby, you dumb bitch. Yeah. I would, you oh, you know just... Lorne. Well, then uh, my name is uh, <clears throat> Aaron Glazer. Hey. I'm a triple threat. Pra, 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 <laughs> I'm a triple threat. I do improv, I do stand-up, and, and I, I rape, rape girls. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, fuck, see, fuck, how, fuck, I took that one from you. You took a bit from me. I took it from you. How's it feel, you motherfucker? You I tried feel to good take it back we right said at rape the at the same time was cute. No, I thought that's wasn't. what synergy. I think that oh, he just sliced. I think that's shoes. synergy, and I think that's business solutions. <laughs> Dude, I love slicing. People. Slicing feels good. I Put can't wait to down. just go to go to Can fucking Times this... Square on New Year's and give people a couple little nicks. <laughs> Can we call this the 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 knife episode? <laughs> Nick just confessed. That's premeditated knife yeah. crime, dude. Yeah, yeah. You confess to a fucking crime. On first air, of all, bro. I would never. Uh, Times Square is for tourists. You know, the real murderers mm-hmm. go to fucking. Yeah, yeah. The Lower Coney East Side. Mm. You Just know? run up to the New World Trade Center and start sl- giving it a couple <laughs> slices on That's the wall. That's a good place. It's not as bad as what they did on 9-11. Uh, Puerto Rican ISIS uh, <laughs> made a couple of slices on the New <laughs> World Trade Center today. Yeah. We, hey, you looking at me? Uh, fuck. We want to establish a global caliphate, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we gonna, we trying to like stab everyone that's like not down with our jihad. You know what I'm saying? That's not bad. That's yeah. not a bad character. That's cool. Yeah. Puerto Rican jihad. Puerto Rican, yeah. Puerto Rican ISIS. Yeah, bro. Like, I'm saying, like, ever since I've been Mujahideen, bro, like, <laughs> I've been, like, you know, you getting a lot of pussy, you know, from virgin <laughs> girls Hell that yeah. just want to join ISIS and be brides and shit. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Pussy? It's like, uh, it's like, uh, they put, like, it's like playing GTA. They put, like, a gay guy in, like, a, in, like, a low rider, right? And then the water's already up to his neck, and then they just lower the hydraulic. <laughs> <laughs> until, until his head's under the water. Okay, <laughs> guy's like, no, please stop. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they kill him. Woo! All right, All right. that was pretty yeah, good. We, this is a long one. Oh, the, shit. The how long did we episode, do? Hour and a half, I think. Nice. Yeah. We're done. Bye, guys. <laughs>